people. This is why the law of attraction hasn't worked for a lot of people, because they think they can build mental constructs, send them out, charge them with emotion, put it on, put it on a little dream board, hang it on the mirror, and go out and do the same things they've been doing the day before. It doesn't work like that, because an informed field does not get does not experience quantum collapse unless there is a physical activity that the projector of that informed field has done has, has done for example all the time all the time i could be going out on bids to get jobs to get clients to do work to make money to pay bills I could stay in that loop because I'm very good at it. My website is paradiserockgardens.com. Anybody can go on that website and see the hundreds of jobs that I have done. You can take any image on there on uh, you can you can you can take and run it through Google Images and you will find out that these images aren't anywhere unless somebody stole my, my pictures. I took all those pictures with my tablet. Every job I finished, I even take pictures of what the job looks like before it's done. But there are many times when I just say, you know what? F it. I'm not doing that. I'm about to, for about five days, I'm gonna do YouTube videos. For about five days, I'm gonna do YouTube videos. I'm gonna give Matt about 20 posts. He's gonna put them on Archaic's Facebook. And I don't just talk about it. I do it. I'll release a YouTube video. Then I'll release another YouTube video back to back. Then I'll do, then I'll, then I'll go out and write a whole bunch of lives. Then I'll do some research. I'll just shut the whole world out and I'll get all my books out right here in, in here and just pull files out. And sometimes I'm amazed when I'll spend hours in my own files forgetting that 14 years ago I wrote this down. Or, or five years ago I wrote this down. Or 11, 11 and a half years ago I wrote this entire thesis and totally forgot about it and shoved it in a folder. I'm finding new stuff all the time. I haven't had time to go through all my stuff. But I'm always stopping what I'm doing just to release videos and deal. Which is dangerous for the average individual because the average individual, they're not relying on they're not relying on work to back up the faith. The informed field needs to be sent out. That can only be done by quantum collapse. Quantum collapse can only be done once a thought construct has been finished, and now the projector of that construct has started acting on it. Because mentally, a blueprint was being made. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to release YouTube videos and not worry about having to pay my T-Mobile bill and my power bill, which are due at the same time every month, and it's almost $500 with my, wife, with my Wi-Fi. So it's almost $500. I'm not going to worry about that. I don't have any money in the bank, but I'm not going to worry about that because for five, four or five days, I'm going to power post. I'm going to get these videos out. I'm going to put that out of my mind because those bills are going to get paid regardless. And it happens every time. Happens every time. I make money with my van. I got to have my van. My van must be in, in, perfect, in perfect order. I hit something real hard with it the other day and knocked it out of alignment. I could barely drive it. I was going to get it towed, but I made it to the shop. Let me tell you, I didn't worry about it. You know what I did? I got on YouTube and I did a video. I did a video just four days ago. Just four days ago, worried, worried about it in my mind, but not in my heart. I don't care. No, I'm the bill. Uh, something's going to happen for me to pay for that van. I don't care. I'm, I'm not going to mention his name. He might be listening tonight. And if he wants to add it in the comments, I don't care. He can. But the man sent me a thousand dollars for appreciation for our cake. So, hey, man, keep it doing what you're doing, man. He said, man, I, I really enjoy your material. I know other people do, man. And, and he said this. He said, he said, don't worry about it, man. I'm able to do this. And I have no problem sending it to you. Man, they hit me in the heart. Right there, I had a need that I could not pay for. But instead of worrying about it, I just started doing YouTube videos. Not to make money because I didn't even ask for it. But man, let me tell you, I did it. It was uploads. I, did, I wasn't doing lives. I was doing uploads. So it just... These, ha these little sinks happen to me all the time because I have no problem understanding and what I'm trying to convey to you right now. You, if you have a need, the need alone is not an informed field. The, all the worry, all the prayers, all the destitution, all the thoughts in the universe will never create a thing. You will never take a fiction and turn it into a fact. Not by that method, you won't. An informed field must be created because it is the bridge between fantasy and fact. 
It is the bridge between spirituality and the material realm, the informed field, because everything in the material universe is the byproduct of a mathematical construct. That's what an informed field is until it, until it suffers quantum collapse. Once that construct collapses in the mental realm, it instantly appears in the material realm. This is why we're co-creators. For you to do that, you have to think about what you need and then don't worry about it. At the same time that you go do a physical act in recognition of what you thought is going to come true. In my case, doing YouTube videos and doing some extra research and not worrying about it was the act that followed the faith. Faith without works is dead. It doesn't matter exactly what the act is. What matters is the intent. But you have to do something in the physical world to bring something spiritual into it. This is the world we live in. We have to basically create the lie in order, in order to bring it to life. This is the simulacrum. This is the paradox that we're in. It's genius. It's almost as if a semi-divine being created a universe that trapped immortals and in the end, on Judgment Day, he is able to stand before the Oversoul and say, I'm not the only one. You had billions of your immortal children in my world and every single one of them every day had to lie to get what they wanted. It's pretty damn clever, but it's not going to work. Because, like I said, prophecies are in past tense. He came to set the captives free. We're already free. We're going It's already written in stone, the entire construct. So remember, the law of conservation of energy applies to the simulacrum. Remember this in your daily activities and what you're doing. If you're doing the same thing every single day, then you're not causing the simulacrum to expend any energy. If you're not causing the simulacrum to expend any energy, then you're not a threat. If you're not a threat, then you're in a feedback loop. And if you're in a feedback loop, you're not a co-creator with God anymore. You're living in stasis, and you have assumed a role as one of the living dead. That's who you are. That's what, you've chosen that. I don't feel sorry for you. This is, who, this is the life you chose. Many people are comfortable with that. They're, they're conformists. I get that. Those are the people who love ABC, CBS, NBC, CNN, BBC, and all mainstream media. Those people love it. They got herd mentality. So, I don't want to get political. But y'all have to give me a second here. Because this is dark roast coffee. Ambrosia. Look that word up. Mmm.